We have regional field organizers all over the country working with students just like you and they can support you and help you launch an incredible campaign on your campus. Campaign planning is really important. Uh, there's a number of ways you can go about it, uh, starting by sketching out your campaign goals, make sure everyone is on the same page. Uh, also your organizational goals, not many people do that, uh, but uh, actually laying out how many new members, what type of new structure or, or leaders you want to have uh, in your organization by the end of the campaign. Uh, there's also a power map, which is just another way of saying, uh, sketching out who the key stakeholders, who the key decision makers at your university are. So you know who to, you need to convince, who you need to avoid. Uh, and then finally a timeline. Uh, it's pretty simple, just thinking about where you want to be next semester, where you are now, and how you want to make steady progress over that time period. People in Dining Services are really useful in your campaign. Uh, one of the first things you should do is set up a meeting with your dining director, uh, your executive chef, uh, the purchasing director. These people know a lot about how to get good food to your campus and they need to be convinced that what you're proposing is a great idea. It's also really worthwhile to talk to the workers in the kitchens, uh, on the serving lines. Uh, these are people who know the ins and outs of the system. They're the ones who are interfacing with students every day. And especially if they're organized into a union, uh, that's a powerful force on campus that you'd like to ally with. So talk to them too. You're never going to win your campaign if it's only two of you carrying it out. So build your base every step of the way. Make sure that you have those key and influential players in your campus talking about what you're doing. Basically, that will only strengthen your argument and your case. The few things that you can do are reaching out to your students, um, getting petitions and surveys filled out that reflect what students' demands are. You can reach out to your student government and your, to, faculty, to your faculty senate and get them to endorse your campaign. You can reach out to your faculty and other professors that will be allies um, that also want to get involved with this food movement that is going on. Go beyond that. Go to your community. If you live in a small town, reach out to your mayor. You can reach out to your local businesses, organizations, and get them talking about what you're doing. Get them involved. Basically, you want to create a climate where anybody who is somebody thinks that what you're doing is important. Ultimately, to be successful, you've got to convince your college president to sign that commitment. Uh, use their interests to your benefit. Think about how this would make them more competitive or more green, the things they care about. And you'll also have to convince a few other administrators on your way up the chain of command. Uh, so lay out your research, lay out your petitions, lay out all your endorsements, use those to bolster your case. And don't take no for an answer. You may hear, oh, we need you to do more research or come back later, I'm not the right person. But don't take no for an answer. Stay persistent and you will definitely be successful.